Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing a thermostat on uh, this uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Charisma 2003 model and the location for the thermostat on this uh, car is just here it's uh, secured by two bolts one at the top here and one at the bottom so before we work on the thermostat we're going to remove this trim here this trim part okay which is secured by two scrivets That's how you take it off. Next bit is to remove this connector here. So the thermostat is secured by two 12 mil bolts. So that's what we're gonna remove next. That's one. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the top bolt in and then we're gonna remove the bottom one. Right, make sure that uh, when you re remove these bolts and remove the casing, make sure that uh, you have a, uh, a container underneath for any spillages. There you go, that's the bottom bolt out of the way. That's the top one. That is the thermostat. Right friends, this is the new thermostat. We've got this from Eurocar Parts for $6.99. So it's a like for like uh, part. There we go. Okay, you can see that uh, this one is uh, seized. Okay, see the pin. So the old one is faulty, so that's why we're putting in the new one. Right, friends, uh, before I uh, put the new thermostat, I'm just gonna clean this area here. What I'm doing is I'm using the sandpaper, very fine sandpaper, to sand the area down a bit so that I can apply a little bit uh, uh, silicon sealant on it. surface with the paper same same on this side so the new thermostat goes in like this right in order to apply silicon on this casing here the cover I'm just going to free it from uh, from the pipe from the coolant pipe so that uh, I can work freely there we go. 
so it sits in like this so just gonna apply a little bit of uh, silicon all around it for peace of mind Just the thin coating be enough. Doesn't have to be too much. This is a special silicon high temperature to form the gasket. That's good enough. Okay friends, so that's how the casing goes. So the top bolt. And the bottom one. For the top bolt we need to Clip in the lambda sensor which goes in like this. So this is the lambda sensor harness connector. Just gonna do the top one now. There you go. And the bottom one. That's good enough. There we go friends, that's the uh, thermostat housing is uh, fully scaled. So now we're gonna, now we're gonna connect the bottom uh, pipe, the coolant pipe, which is coming out of the radiator. Uh, so we're just gonna scale that now. And uh, we are using uh, a salmon, salmon mill socket to scale that. There we go friends, that's uh, the Jubilee clamp fully skewed. So just going to connect the Lambda Sense uh, harness. So that's how it comes down and goes in here. Right friends, now that we have changed the thermostat on this car, so we're gonna fill the coolant system up with the uh, uh, coolant and uh, then uh, we're gonna start the car up uh, turn the heater on and then we're gonna look for the leaks around this area here okay I've just uh, checked for the leaks, there isn't any, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit this uh, trim panel here, the trim part. So the trim part fits in like this, just going to force it in, then the 
the spirit goes here. Okay, so just gonna press it in. And the second one here. Thank you very much for watching the video.